Hey guys, I'm back with the unboxing of the GoPro grab bag of mounts or spare parts. Um, this can be picked up on the website. I think it's just under around 20 bucks. It's got lots of extras, lots of spare parts for your camera. I'm going to go ahead and open it up and we'll just go through what it comes with. It's got a couple of mounts, a couple of extender bars, some sticky mounts, some buckle mounts, and a vibration reducer. Replacement spare parts for your GoPro camera. Really nothing too much on the packaging. Same standard packaging GoPro normally uses. Clear bag at the bottom, see what you're getting, and a nice big black tag at the top. Very plain and very simple. Best way to open these is a pair of scissors and slice the top open. There. Yep. All right. Get the stuff out of the bag. It comes with a leash for your camera. Two, one flat, one buckle mount, one J buckle mount, one flat adhesive mount, one curved adhesive mount. Two extender bars, two extender bars, and a doohickey. Three bolts, one long one to mount the camera, two short ones for the mounting the bars, um, two, two extender bars, two adhesive mounts, two buckle mounts and a GoPro doohickey nose plug vibration reducer. If you don't know what this is, there'll be a link to the video talking about what this does in the description of this video. Um, in the meantime, before I end this video, I wanna just go through what this is for. We've got some questions. There's a video on my channel, one of the very early ones. If you're gonna go try and find it, you're gonna to have to go back right to almost the beginning, the first page of videos, about how to add a leash to your GoPro. Uh, the, in my video, I had a little loop to the back of the case that looks like this, and then I, am, I use it to tie onto things. GoPro does something a little bit differently with this leash. Um, I'll set it up onto a camera here. I've got the case for my Hero 3. It works. So there's a little gap. Bring this up so we can see. All right, so there's a little gap at the back here in between the, the back where the, where the hinge goes in. And you take this leash and you pass it through this little gap. Just like that. And then you take the end of the cord and pass it through that loop. Like that. So if you can see what I've done there. Now I'm going to pull this tight and that's going to last sue and clench down onto that little gap and that gives us something so now the camera, like that's tight on the camera and that's attached to the leash to the camera. Now when we have a mount, what we do to secure this to the mount is once we've mounted, we, we mount our mount onto the, cam onto the th something, leaving the camera loose, you pass this cord through whatever you want to secure your camera to. What do I have that I can demonstrate this on? A pair of scissors. I'm going to pretend this scissor handle is something to secure our camera onto. We pass the loop of this, of the, this little string through here. Then we take the camera and pass it through the loop like that and then pull it tight and now the camera is securely attached to whatever our mounting point was. To undo it you pull the knot and then pass the camera back through the loop 
like this, and then undo it. So guys, that was the unboxing of the GoPro spare parts or the grab bag of mounts. It doesn't come with a lot, but it does come with some things that are quite useful. The extra extender bars can be useful for doing some more complex mounts if you only have two. More adhesive mounts, always good. Go plug, GoPro doohickey nose plug thing, really useful, really important to use it um, if you've lost it or didn't know what it did when you got your camera and then misplaced it. Useful to have extender bars, lose them all the time, nice to have. And the J-buckle mounts, I have more of these than I really know what to do with, so more of those is not a big benefit to me, but um, always nice, I guess, to have more. The nuts, I like, I don't, um, I seem to be short of these. I've lost a couple of these, so good to have more of those. And of course, it comes with the string so you don't lose your camera. You can find strings like this other places, though, too. So if you're only after the, the string to secure your camera, please check out my video on how to add a securing loop to your GoPro because that'll save you the money you would have spent buying this kit. That will be in the link. Uh, I'll put a link to that in the description of this video as well. Thank you guys for watching. This is another GoPro tips and tricks video. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure you check out my channel for lots more videos. And if you like the video, like the video. And make sure you subscribe so you can watch more videos. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, um, check out my channel.